right. Uh, well, happy Monday to everybody. Hope uh, the day is going well. Uh, I'm excited to jump into prayer this morning. There's a lot to pray for, um, and um, and the scripture is going to guide us. So uh, we are uh, going to be praying through Psalm 23 today. Um, I'm in the New Living Translation, uh, just a translation that I enjoy praying through. So let's um, uh, just quiet ourselves, help ourselves uh, get to a place of focus and uh, peace. Yeah, it takes a little while. It's all right. Lord is very patient with us, but we can just slow down our breathing. Thank you, Jesus. You love me. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, would you help us just to be able to sink into your love, that, that we would just be so happy in that, that it, we would just realize it, take it in. Jesus, would you help us just right now um, just confess sin and clean ourselves out. We just want your love to absolutely just restore us and make us right. Come, Lord Jesus, and just uh, open up our eyes. Help us to see uh, ways that we have fallen short and that we have grieved your heart, even ways that have hidden from us or we have tried to ignore or bury. God, we just want to own up to it. We want to be free from it. We know your grace is what you want to give us. So come, Lord Jesus. Let's just take this uh, moment of sacred silence just to confess uh, and just to apologize and get restored with the love of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you that you forgive us all the time. Lord Jesus, we need your love. It's more important to us than food and drink. It's more important to us than anything, God. If we, if we just know that we're loved by you, if we can live in that, everything's good. We can handle anything, Jesus. Thank you for doing all the work on the cross uh, that we could just always have access to your love. Thank you that we are yours. We surrender to you again. We just give our lives to you again. We are yours, Jesus. Come and just consume us. Come and deepen in us just our love for you and our desire to be with you. Come, Lord Jesus. God, uh, we, we just thank you for your word and just pray that, um, that the power of your word would just change our lives as we meditate on it right now. Your word is, is life. It's, it's full of your love and power and strength. And uh, so God, just, just let it go deep in us. Let it um, just cleanse us and set us right, uh, affect our thinking and our reactions and our, uh, and everything, Jesus. We need you. We need your words today. Come Lord Jesus. I'm just going to read this psalm three times um, and just uh, encourage you just to ask the Lord for a particular phrase or verse that just strikes you or stands out. That's his word for you today to just um, meditate on. And so, uh, yeah, just receive the word of God. 
The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Take this word, Jesus. Take it deep in us right now. God, we don't want it just to stay on the surface of our brains. Would you just take it deep into our soul, into our hearts? Just, just plant it and let it grow deep roots, God, that it would truly take over and overcome our flesh and overcome our spirit, that we would be changed because of it, Jesus. Would you just renew us with your word? Would it affect how we think and how we feel and how we act and how we react? Jesus, come. Come and breathe life into these words. God, would you meet us now just as we just pray into them? Like always, I'm just going to um, now just pray through certain sections of this psalm, and you are free to just pray along with me. Uh, in agreement, or you're free to pray on your own as the scripture prompts you to pray. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. Thank you, God, that you are my shepherd. You are our shepherd, that you always give us what we need, Jesus, that you always make sure and take care of our basic needs, that you uh, keep us uh, close to you, that you watch over us, that you love us that you protect us and guide us. You are our great shepherd, Jesus. And we just ask that you would help our hearts just fully surrender to you as our shepherd, that we would not uh, veer off and try to follow other shepherds, Jesus, that we would stay close to your heart and that we would only listen to your voice. You are our only good shepherd. There is no other shepherds uh, like you. There is no other shepherds that uh, are so consistent and so present, so wise, and so loving, and so strong. Jesus, we apologize for the times that we have uh, disobeyed you, and rebuked you, and chafed against your leadership. God, forgive us for that, and give us a heart that is just so teachable to you, Jesus. Don't let us be stubborn sheep. Do not let us be stubborn sheep, God. Help us to just fully submit and surrender to your leadership so that we can thrive and live well, Come, Lord Jesus. Come and be our great shepherd. We give you our allegiance again. We give you our lives again. Come, Lord Jesus. Lead us. He lets me rest in green meadows. 
He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. Jesus, we need this from you. So we're so grateful that this is what you want for us, that you want to give us a renewal of strength when we're tired, that you want to take us and lay us down in green grass, green meadows, and lead us beside peaceful streams. Lord Jesus, uh, even if we physically cannot do that right now, would you just do that in our soul and our hearts? God, would you just come and bring that kind of renewal and peace and calm into our minds? God, and all the perseveration, all the obsession, all the thinking, God, would you just calm it down, Jesus? Would our minds just be that smooth water, Lord Jesus? Would you just do it in our emotional worlds, God? Just uh, the ways that we are anxious, the ways that we are just jittery and restless, the ways that we are lonely, the ways that we are um, just in fear, the ways that we are angry, the ways that we are just thirsty in our soul, Lord Jesus, would you just right now just bring calm and peace. God, we just take your living water that just brings life and renewal of strength. We take it in, Jesus. You and you alone, God, is all we need. If we can feast on you, we will be satisfied. God, come and just lead us into that peace. Lead us into that renewal. From our minds to our emotions to our spirits. Lord Jesus, we do not want to be a slave to uh, all of our emotions. God, we just want to be completely surrendered to you. Come, Lord Jesus, just keep pouring into our soul right now. Let us just be content in you. Help us to slow down and sink into you, Jesus. Help us not to be just be thinking about what we got to get to the rest of the day or what we got to deal with or help us not to be just wanting to just figure out more pleasure today or more things to do today. Just help us to just be in this moment with you, Jesus. We want to be completely present. Just help us to be present to you and alive in you. Come, Lord Jesus, renew our soul. Just bring your shalom. Bring your peace. Let the waters inside just be calm. Just let us be in that green meadow with you in our spirit. Come, Lord Jesus. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Thank you, Jesus. God, guide us. We want to live in every way that honors your name. Do not let us go down wrong paths. Do not let us fall into sin. Do not let us grow uh, weary in our obedience to you. God, guide us down the right paths that we would honor your name in everything, that our lives would honor your name, that we would represent you in this world. In this world, in our homes, in our city, at our work, Lord Jesus, we want to have that integrity, Jesus. We want to show people how good you are. Show people uh, what happens, all the good that happens when we trust our lives to you. Show people the, uh, the deep life that is only found when we obey you, Jesus. God, give us a victory over our vices. Give us a victory over our, um, our flesh. Give us victory over the lies in our minds and the ways that we just justify and uh, make excuses and talk our way out of obedience, God. Just uh, overcome all of that, God, and guide us in the right paths that we would um, have bring honor to your name. Jesus, for those of us that just need to make decisions, would you guide us, God? Give us guidance in the decisions that we have to make. Don't let us make bad decisions and go down the wrong paths. Come, Lord Jesus, and give us wisdom. Give us wisdom, Lord Jesus. Guide us, Lord Jesus, in making the right choices. Thank you, Jesus. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. Thank you, Jesus, that even in our darkest moments, even in our biggest fears, that you walk with us, that your presence is with us. And I just pray.
pray for those of us who are in dark times that you just would make your presence known, Lord Jesus, that that like that like David, that, that we all could be able to say in the dark valleys, we will not be afraid uh, because you are so close beside us that your rod and staff, they, they comfort and protect us, Lord Jesus. God, I just want to put the Galvan family into your arms right now in the valleys that they're walking through. We just put Priscilla right into your healing uh, arms. And we just say, in the name of Jesus, just be healed. We just command all virus or effects of that virus out of her body. And I pray, God, that you would just heal her in such strong ways that she would know that you're present with her in this time. Would you heal her emotionally for the loss of her pet? And would you just give the family just this sense of your presence with her? God, I pray that um, Isabel and Gus would not be anxious that they can't be with her, that they would know that you are with her that in this time that you are uh, her shepherd and her doctor and her strength and uh, her support. God, and I pray that you would not only heal her physically, but just use this just to make her fall deeply in love with you, that she would just see that you have her, that you know you and you alone know how to walk your children through the dark valleys. God, I pray for Dan and Nancy. God, I pray for Nancy as she's continuing her battle in chemo, that you would just your presence would just be so thick in that in, in her life and in their home, God, that they would just know that you are walking them through this dark valley, that your that your rod and staff is there to protect and to comfort and to guide. Lord Jesus, just let them know you at the deepest level they've ever known you in this time. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. We just put all of our families and all of our friends and those that we know that are just in suffering right now, whether it's physical suffering and sickness or whether it's emotional suffering or whether financially, we just put um, uh, Vicky and Chato and, uh, and, and, and Chato's father in, in your hands right now in this time. And we just say, Lord Jesus, you uh, just heal that virus in Chato's father. We just command that virus in the name of Jesus out uh, of Chato's uh, Father's body right now in the name of Jesus, and that you would just, your presence would just be so clear and so thick and so good that you would just use this dark time to bring Chato's father and Chato into a saving relationship with you, Jesus. They would know your goodness. Come and just walk with all of our friends through their dark valleys, Lord Jesus. Just walk, let your presence be known, and, and just take away all fear. Just take it away that faith would just grow in in each one of us, God, in the midst of our dark valleys. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Thank you, God, that you are the God of absolute abundance, that even in the midst of our enemies, you are with us in such overflowing and abundant ways, God. Would you open up our eyes to see this abundance in our life? Would you um, forgive us for the ways that we just get tripped up by all the pain and struggle and that we get too obsessed with it, Jesus? Would you give us eyes to just see your abundance, that even in the presence of our most difficult situations of our enemies, you just prepare feasts for us. That you anoint us, that you put favor upon us, Jesus. Would you just put favor upon us, God, in this time when we could see it, that we would see the blessings that you just overflow, um, that what we don't even deserve, Jesus. God, we thank you right now. Let's just take a moment just in, in, where you're at. Just thank God for the specific blessings that he is showering upon you right now in your life. God, I thank you for the blessings of health. I thank you for the food that um, I'm able to eat every day. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you for uh, you saving my father and my grandmother um, and giving them life, uh, Jesus, and getting them out of the hospital. I thank you, Jesus, for the conversations with my family and, and, and the depth of relationship you're taking us. I thank you, Jesus, for... Um, just the purpose that you give every day 
uh, to partner with you, Jesus. I thank you for my churches and just the incredible spiritual family that you have just blessed me with, Jesus. The the friends and the brothers and sisters that um, that just bring so much joy and strength and comfort to my life. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the blessings, God. Thank you for uh, being able to pay my bills, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the finances to do that. Thank you, Jesus. God, we have so much, so much abundance. Lord Jesus, help us to be generous. Help us to be like you, God. Help us to be the ones that make cups overflow and make feasts happen on people's table, Jesus. Let us be your hands and feet. Let us let us just have your heart, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, and just help us to be um, generous. Let Take your blessings and give them to others. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord forever. God, thank you for being a God that pursues us with goodness and unfailing love. God, I don't get it sometimes, man. When we just, when we turn our backs on you, we're looking for love and goodness in other places. You just pursue us. You don't even wait for us to come to you uh, to get goodness and love. You just keep pursuing us with love. You just keep coming after us. You keep rescuing us. You keep pulling us close to your heart. You keep forgiving us. Your love truly is unfailing. There is just nothing that can stop it. There's nothing that can separate us from your love. You just won't allow it. You have done all the work uh, in the spiritual realm uh, through your cross uh, and, and resurrection from death on the cross. You've done all the work in the spiritual realm that our sin can't keep uh, your love from us. The devil can't keep your love from us. People can't keep your love from us. It is unfailing, Jesus. It is our rock, and it just pursues us, Lord Jesus. Just help us to be, we just say, catch us and with and consume us with your love and your goodness. Lord Jesus, we just, with David, just say, we will live in your house forever with you, Lord God, that uh, we can't thank you enough for welcoming us into your home we just say, we're, we say yes, and we say we live with you forever. Like, there's nothing else that we want. Help us, Lord Jesus, in this time. Help us just to be so satisfied and content in your house, with your goodness, with your unfailing love. God, help us not to, to yearn for other things and to, to, to just be thirsty for other things, just just bring a satisfaction, God. Help us to not be buying things that we don't need. Help us not to just be pursuing just pleasures and entertainment and stuff and whatever that, that just won't satisfy. Help us just fully just embrace you, receive your love, live in your house, party with you, just go to work with you, be consumed by you, Jesus, in this time. Come, Lord Jesus, you have our hearts. Just win them completely over. Drive out the poison that is still there. Drive it out, Jesus. Drive it out and then make us so that we're so consumed with love of you and from you that we would just give it to others, God. That we would be not looking to other people to, to serve us in ways that only you can and not being critical of other people. That we would just be overflowing ourselves with your love and your goodness. Come, Lord Jesus, do that this week. Come, Lord Jesus, change us, deepen in us. Let's just begin to wind down this time by just going back to our breath prayer. Thank you, Jesus. You love us. Thank you, Jesus. You love us. 
Thank you, Jesus. You love us. Thank you, Jesus. You love us. Jesus, is there anything you want to speak to us before we say amen? We are here. We're listening. Come and speak. It's what I just hear it might just be for me, uh, but uh, just be patient, not impulsive. Be patient, and I will give you wisdom. Be patient, not impulsive. Be patient, and I will give you wisdom. Lord Jesus, help me, help us to be patient and not impulsive. Give us wisdom. Let us know the insights that we need to be able to obey you, to honor you and to handle the responsibilities that you've given us well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. Amen. Amen. Amen, church. Uh, let's keep praying for each other and pray that Psalm 23 would really be able to anchor you and, and your families today. Love you. And uh, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow, God willing.